Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara that we just got in and uh, just got off the truck. So I just want to show it to you. It's not the cleanest in the world right now. It's pollen season in our area, so there's pollen on everything. And it just got off the truck, so, you know, kind of have to overlook a little bit of uh, pollen and stuff all over it. But anyway, you see it does have the, um, the fog lights here in the front. It has the alloy wheels. And I like the way they put the little, little Jeep right there. But you can see they have a little Jeep right here too on the windshield. And then the, if you can see that with the sun glare, there's a little Jeep symbol there in the front. But um, pretty neat. But overall, this is a really nice vehicle. It does have the matching top and the um, the fender. The fenders are matching color and all that stuff too. Does have the side steps. I'll go ahead and show you what this side looks like. Because it does have the leather seats. You can see it says Sahara there, embroidered in the back of the seat. You've got black seats with a white stitching. Really nice looking. In, in the video, I don't know if you can really tell how dark, nice dark, deep black color it is. Sometimes in the videos they look kind of um, grayish, but it's, it's a nice deep dark black. And it has like a matte finish on the leather. And they are really comfortable seats. Now they are not powered seats. Um, the Wranglers do not have power seats, so it's not even available. But uh, there's your glove compartment. But I'm going to go around the other side too, but I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like from that side. Here in the back seat. So this is the type of vehicle where you can have a family and have a Jeep at the same time. So it's pretty neat. These seats do fold down in case you need some more cargo space. But it does have, this front seat's all the way back. So it give you an idea of, you still have some leg room there. And you've got some cup holders and stuff there too. And there's your spare tire. It does have a towing package. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the back so you can see how easy it is. You do have to have a pretty good amount of space to swing the tailgate open in order to access the back. But once you open it up, you can, it's pretty good. And then this lifts up here. And then that way you've got a pretty good amount of cargo space. Much better than say a trunk of a car or something. And of course like this, like I said, those seats fold down flat too. So that way you have more cargo space if you need it. More cargo and less passenger space. Now this does have a subwoofer back here because it does have the premium Alpine sound system. There's a power supply. And uh, under here you do have some additional storage space under there maybe get stuff out of sight and this is a, this is a, this mat back here I just want to show you it is reversible you can flip it over and it does have a rubber side so that way you can have a nice carpet side but if you need to really carry something and you don't want it to mess up the carpet you flip it over and you have this nice Jeep um, uh, you know like rubber mat which has it looks like diamond plate or whatever on it pretty neat so you do have to put the glass down first and then you close the tailgate there's your fuel cap on the driver's side which is convenient and you see these net pockets here that's the, that's if you kind of you want to put something in there and you don't want it rattling around while you're going off road or whatever I guess that's the idea behind those. You do have pockets here in the back of the seats. The seat folds down. That's a 60-40 split to where you've got a, you can put two passengers there and then have a little bit of cargo space or you can have one passenger on, it, on this side and then have some cargo space on that side. And 
and just want to mention on the door here you notice it doesn't have window controls you just have the door lock controls and the handles the window controls are in right here in the center right above the cup holders there's the trail rated badge right there give you an idea what it looks like but it does have heated side mirrors and here's the inside of the front door you can see the window door, window controls are not here either uh, you do have door lock controls um, in the pocket there but I'll show you uh, right here is where your window controls are for all four windows but here in the driver's seat it does have you know you can make it go up and down with this lever here and that way you can raise it up or lower it down so it does have adjustments to go forward and back also you can tilt your um, your back there but it does not have a power seat I'm gonna go ahead and hop in seats are very comfortable by the way it does have a tilt steering no telescoping all right here's your steering wheel it is leather wrapped very comfortable has a good thickness to it and on this side you have your see some buttons here that's your cruise control on the back on this side is your volume button one of the volume buttons while you're driving you can adjust the volume or you can adjust the volume here I can change the stations on the back side of this side of the steering wheel like that and on this side you see a bunch of buttons here now it does have voice recognition it does have Bluetooth so you can answer your phone using this button you can um, you know you can choose different commands with the voice recognition button here and the other buttons are for the menu here I'm going to shut the door all the way now right here I'm going to just push this north button just so you're going to get an idea of the, the main screen here which is your your compass and your uh, temperature there's all your gauges now your compass and temperature is your your main one but you can push menu and you can um, scroll through the different options on the menu tire pressure and stuff like that so I can go to a digital speedometer or I can go back out of that and that any time you want to see the temperature or your compass you just push that button there and you go back to that the rest of the gauges I mean pretty much straightforward and easy to read simple your windshield wash, uh, wiper controls are there your light controls are on that side it does have automatic headlights Now here's a little pocket up here, but here's your radio. It does have satellite radio. This is a Uconnect system with Bluetooth and all that. Um, satellite radio it does come with, when you buy a new one, it does come with a full year, one, one year of satellite radio for free. But um, let me kind of go through just to show you. This does have a hard drive and um, the hard drive is about 30 gigabytes of hard drive space and that way you can put pictures and songs and stuff like that in there it does have navigation and you can set it to certain addresses and stuff like that no, no files on the hard drive But just to give you an idea it does have a CD player behind here and that you know also does play DVDs now I haven't tried this but somebody has told me that if you put a DVD like a movie in there that actually play while you're in park but if you put it in drive it'll stop playing haven't tried it but that's what I heard there's your auxiliary input now to add files uh, to the hard drive you can use a CD player you can also use this USB port here
you can adjust the audio stuff like that but it has a lot of a lot of features um, in this this radio it's kind of like a computer I guess you can say but there's your door window controls here's your vents they're easy to move around and adjust right now it's turned off but um, you know you can adjust it you can close it like that it's pretty neat here's your climate control it does have a um, automatic climate control to where you can set on auto you can set the temperature you want and go from there the front seats are heated it does have a uh, AC adapter um, down your downhill descent button this is for from what I understand this is not for dry pavement this is for loose gravel and stuff there's your traction control if you want to turn it off your side mirrors you can adjust them here power supply there there's your four wheel drive um, controls there you got a net pocket pencil pocket I guess right there there's your shifter there's an automatic transmission it does have an auto stick feature cup holders are there emergency brakes there Here's your center console, which it is lockable, just like the glove compartment. And that way, in case you have the top down or whatever, or the windows down, doors off, and you're really, you know, kind of going around like a in the summer with your Jeep, um, you do have some level of securing your belongings. But this opens up. You have a shallow pocket here to begin with. The other button opens up the whole thing, which is a deeper uh, cubby hole here. Now it does have a power supply in there as well. And a USB port there. There's your AC plug outlet right there. It does have automatic dimming. The rear view mirror will dim, will dim. Like if somebody comes up behind you with their bright lights, it'll dim for you. Here's the visor. It's got a mirror there. Same thing on the other side. Now these this hard top will come off in sections. These two sections are kind of like T-tops. You can take these two pieces off um, and then leave the back on. And that way you don't have to take the whole thing off. You can, you know, if you want to just take the top off real easy. I mean, just this part, you can take that off. Um, to take the back part off is a little bit more complicated. Uh, it's not just latched on, it is bolted down. And also it might take you know two people to actually take it off and, and store it and stuff like that something to consider if you're gonna you know if you're gonna get a hard, hard top how many times you're gonna take the top off or how long you're gonna leave it off is something to consider with the hard top soft tops a little bit easier it's a lot easier to just fold it back if you're you know planning on going around uh, topless a lot notice a little see has a little jeep symbol in there little side pocket there so let's take a look under the hood there's no hood latch under the dash I'm used to looking under there but we just have these latches here V6 3.6 liter Panastar. It does have pollen all over it, so you can just kind of overlook that. It is pollen season, and this vehicle hasn't been detailed yet. All right, there it is. I'll. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, or email me, or call me. Phone number and email address will be in the description, and I'll see you next time.